I'm one of the three researchers from the University of Haifa whose role in the ANERIS project is to provide enhancement methods for underwater imagery. So we develop computer algorithms to take footage or images from underwater scenes and enhance them so the effects of water are minimal. While well, having been here for the second meeting of ANERIS, I am very impressed and inspired that all the partners came together with their deliverables. So we actually now have an ecosystem of tools such as our software, such as our partners who built the actual underwater observatories, folks who made cell phone apps for citizen science observations. It's really an ecosystem of tools to understand and hopefully protect the oceans better. Generally, working with underwater imagery is really difficult because it just violates every rule you know about processing images and the environments are harsh, they are dark, the imagery is generally noise and you're looking for signal in there. So what I'm most proud of is we've been able to take relatively different scenes and demonstrate that our algorithms, which are based on physics, work very well in terms of revealing the content in them. That's not to say we solved the problem. Now we can see any underwater scene without water where that's a very difficult problem to solve, but we made a lot of progress. And actually we opened up, I believe that our work in this scope opened up few new directions for research in our field. So now we are at an exciting point where the underwater cameras and our software have intersected. So for the next year, we are going to see our algorithms working almost live in the imagery acquired by the observatories. So we're going to be able to see fish better. We're going to be able to see uh, the structures better and we're going to be able to extract information, how much fish how many species, which species, what's the seasonality. So now all this engineering will turn into useful data for scientists and stakeholders. Well, the problem is that water just occludes every useful piece of information in an underwater photo. That uh, almost sounds like a joke to say. So we're trying to solve the problem of removing water from underwater images. And uh, we've made some progress. We're not all the way there, but it's a, it's a life, lifelong journey, I think.